are loaded back into the uh, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are going into the game of Team Aversio um, versus Team Premade. So, hot for the second game. I hope it's going to be as uh, good as the first one. Uh, how are you feeling about it, Breaker? I definitely think this one, I mean, like, just facing it at MMR values, I would say that it is very likely, very possible that we could see um, a full three maps played between both of these teams. Wouldn't you agree? We've, we have we did get a little bit of a glimpse of what both sides have um, in terms of ELO. I'm sorry, yeah. in terms of MMR. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty similar. Uh, both haven't dropped a game in the tournament yet. Uh, we have another Hitman, by the way. It's not the same Hitman, <laughs> but uh, he's there yeah. as well. I did um, notice that as well. Ooh, and we have two Widowmakers. Um, might not be familiar with this, but Gotiki is a very notorious Widowmaker. He's played it a couple of times in this tournament before, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to switch off that, even though he's on offense. Uh, Faxi actually did switch, so no Widowmaker coming out on the side of defense. Uh, instead, we're going to have the... Um, the May, which, you know, is a little bit more fail-safe. Uh, we've seen Blizzard save team fights time and time again during the last few games, so this game is probably going to be no different. You know, they should definitely rename her ability to Snowstorm, because whenever <laughs> someone says Blizzard, it's like, it's Q Reddit meme moment, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. I, I, really I know feel exactly like... what you mean. <laughs> Right. I, I do myself play a lot of Mei on the defensive side. Um, I personally play a lot of Farah and Mei. I used to be big on 76, but after Farah got her buff, it's like, I have to play it. But enough about that, as we do have a very eager to uh, get into the fight. A bit too eager with Reinhardt there. Is he going to survive this? It looks like very quickly taken down by PK mid. Very nicely done. First blood of this entire best of three. Death row gets a follow up as well. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, and uh, Team Premade gets, uh, you know, gets gets held in, not able to push through on the initial push. And I'm wondering if uh, Gotsky is going to stay in with the maker with uh, the team of um, uh, Versio playing rather well against it so far. Really nice teleport by Vortex that able to get the flank off. So maybe we're going to see him kill someone down the line. He's able to flank around. And Anna's red on the funded, but not able to actually get something. They had high ground now. Indeed. I actually really like this May play coming in from Vexi. And the question remains though, is it going to be effective as we do have Savage Beast on the defense getting the first one, if I'm seeing that right. I'm sorry, on the offense coming through here, I gotta read the colors right, that's all I have to do. Two down already is Hitman to follow up. Blizzard coming through, however, but that is a sound barrier to frozen Anna and a frozen May right now. Finally, they do complete that trade, and now it looks like it's gonna be Sin coming through. And, I'm sorry, uh, I missed the Lucio just now. It's actually Ire... both names, you gotta get used to this. Yeah, Taken down by Fexy, that is... There's no more satisfying feeling in the world than getting that Lucio taken down as main, you know what I mean? But yeah. sickly done with him, it's ulti and a triple kill to follow things up. Yeah, PKMLT is just uh, high mooning um, the dreams of Team Freebag on this push to death. Uh, they have the Earth Shatter and the Bat Blossom though, so they might be able to make something happen there. Uh, we see that Gotsukis has switched away from the Widowmaker. Great Earth Shatter! Oh man, and another blizzard. Ready to go in less than a minute. There it is. Don't do pussy tall. I can actually <laughs> speak Chinese. I have a degree in Chinese, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, That's uh, there it is. useful for casting, right? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, you but can I actually. Just a little bit. Yeah, anywho. <laughs> and nice defensive hammer coming in here. Pulse Bomb will not connect with anything useful there, so a little bit of spent heat there by Gotike. But the defense looks like it's coming through now for Eversio. Yeah, man, Eversio, what a steady hold. And like, each time I think they're gonna like drop it, and then they get a couple of return kills, the people come back from spawn, and only a minute left for Team Premade here. They do have the Sound Berry, they will have the Nana Boost. Almost got that Earth Shatter as well, but look at the ultimates on the side of Team Aversio. Dude, I mean, there's only two ready to go on the uh, other side, and they are going to have to make them count for pre-made. 
That's another Dongzhu Busito coming through, and that's gonna freeze two, maybe three players. No, no, just two. The time being, and it's become now a three for two trade in favor of the defenders. Picked up four now as, sorry, yes, as Rick comes through and takes down Vortex. He's gonna be getting away with something or other, actually more of an assist as PK mid comes in and gets the final blows on Chris too, as well as the enemy team's Zarya. Rick's gonna take a well-deserved nap before he gets waken up by a Tracer and shuts down a an Ana in the form of a Hitman. We got overtime to work for now. Oh, Death Blossom coming through here. And that is a very well-deserved double kill coming in, but Vortex is shut down shortly thereafter. Now we're going to be seeing Gaike and Darky coming in, trying to keep the steam going, but there's only two players on the defense. Fexy, where on earth are you? You are taken oh, down and out. Indeed, last possible second, they get the capture. It feels like that. It feels like that a lot on this map, does it not? Yeah, man. I love all of it. Like, it's a... Uh, I feel like it's a very well-balanced map. Uh, we don't see... Like, Eichenberg, for example, is, you know, very much the fans' favorite. I can count the times you seem to see pushing all the way through in one hand. But Hollywood is always pr uh, provides you with some interesting games. So, let's see if the uh, team Aversia is able to get back their grasp on the game and hold them in the mid here. Uh, always a Rick's bit of a tough position. Forward. He's looking for that moment to use the John Senna, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's all ready for him. There it is. He gets away with... One, he's gonna get the, ha the hammer down on Reinhardt and a follow up Blizzard. That's the beauty of May and Reinhardt working together. That's what I love. Yeah. That's what I love about these three characters. Uh, that is to say, the Zarya being thrown into it as well. If yeah. you can stack their ultis, you can do so much damage. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's really hard to keep up the Reinhardt shield if you're frozen. So, <laughs> great ultimate usage there. Uh, they still at the high noon, which on this map specifically is amazing because there's so much high ground and so much different tracks from which you can high noon. Great shoot by Rick. And that, I mean, that little uh, John Cena there was held by Rick's shield. It really, I don't know what exactly happened there. Did he see the window of opportunity coming through? Uh, I just. Yeah, well, yeah, um, what happened was Savage Beast uh, reduced his ultimate there, but Rick was able to, you know, get it and hold it. Oh, not Another this Another Johnson coming through. Oh man, that Tracer, just the, re the rewind there. Amazing. <laughs> and we have charged into charge uh, as both Rhinox fight the dust. Vortex is the only one still on the payload. Uh, PK will be able to get him off though, gets the double, and that should be a halt, at least for now for Team Versio, and let's see if Team Premade is able to get that last minute push going again. That's right, Serenity's got the ulti ready to go, Death Row as well, uh, PKMLT, the question is who's gonna get that ulti well deserved? Pulse Disruptor going down on a shielded Reinhardt at the last possible second he gets shielded, another Blizzard coming through. And this looks like it's going to be a solid defense. Four names, are they going to get away with the team wipe? Gadike is still alive there. Looks like he will live to disappoint. Another rewind coming through, and he's having difficulty getting away from this. Yeah, Finally, will go down. That's the grab. Oh, beautiful, beautiful defensive. Yeah, and man, those, like, you already said it, but those blizzards by Faxi. There's like two or three separate of them where that team fight was just solely won um, because of the uh, the blizzard that even able to throw it out gets immediately blown up afterwards. But having those blizzards and placing them and being able to hit them at such uh, you know crucial times, great play by uh, Team Aversio here. I also wanted to highlight something with that uh, that gravity pulse coming through. <clears throat> I'm sorry, gravity bomb coming through. <coughs> What happened there was we saw one of the players on uh, on offense there from... The Tracer? Uh, uh, Gotiki? No. Uh, or... What happened was one of the players that actually switched to <clears throat> Reinhardt at the last possible moment. Or not, not Reinhardt, but rather Winston to get the yeah. leap onto the payload. But uh, the gravity, gravity surge shut that down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, it makes it really hard for you to actually get that last minute momentum and get on the payload again. Um, yeah, nice ultimate usage by, uh, by Defro there. 
So, a um, bit of a surprising comp from Team Premade here. Going for a Junkrat Winston composition, uh, which isn't something we're used to seeing, like especially those two in conjunction. Uh, you know, a bit of a peculiar team composition here, but on the side of uh, Team uh, Versio, we see uh, a Hanzo and a Mercy, which are, you know, even more so very surprising. So I'm sure they're going to switch those out, at least the Mercy, there we go. Serenity switches to that Ana. PKMLT goes to the Tracer, and are they going to stick with the Hanzo? No, it's actually going to be Farah, and I can imagine you're really happy with that. I am as well. Yeah, I mean, like, Farah is my number one most played uh, DPS right now, especially after her most recent buff. Uh, I jumped 300 rank points just from very well played Farah play, and uh, looks like tries, yeah. to use, tries to use the mispositioning there, but doesn't quite come together. Blue Rocket, if you will. Yeah, exactly. That's just the way I think of it. First Blood does come in for Fexy nonetheless. Looking for that second one as well can be very useful in taking down supports. Um, if they are not sticking to their tanks well enough. And it looks like he's going to try and get away with Anna or Lucio. Having trouble making that second rocket connect, however. And Savage Beast is going to get a couple of kills where he started off with the first one. Still having so much trouble getting that Anna. Get, we'll get the Lucio in the end. 98% ready to rain justice, but is shut down by Vortex for the 76 switch. Yeah, that's a surprising switch. It makes a lot of sense, but... As yes. Gonna come out very unlucky if you pick a blind pick uh, that junk rat, and then the enemy team shows up with Farah, which isn't very much played. But uh, you don't want to pick junk rat into Farah ever, I think. And uh, soldier got that golden gun as well. Good job, Vortex. Looks good. Yeah. First, he's the first hero that I ever got uh, the golden gun on as well. Ah, sick. Yeah. And it looks like he's got Night Ops skin going. Indeed, sick skin. I love that. This guy, he's my brother from another mother. Yeah, I think the gun from the Night Ops and Commander skins are the best. I, believe, I agree, I agree. Oh, but that's a nice John Cena hammer, but it's a double John Cena hammer as both sides get knocked over. You can't take down that far right now. And it looks like this will be a take coming in from Aversio in the very short future. Yes, I mean, like, yeah. that team wipe. There yeah, it is. It. What, what went wrong there? Um, so what happened was uh, Savage Beast did hit uh, Earth Shatter, but he only hit it on the Nana Boosted Great. So two things happened. He didn't have his Earth Shatter for the follow-up fight, which, you know, the CC is pretty much essential to winning a fight. And then at the same point, even though Rick uh, wasn't able to actually do much with his Nana Boost, he also didn't die. And using such a big team fight ultimate and not really gaining any leverage with it makes it really hard to win the follow-up team fight. So what we saw uh, Aversio do in the follow-up there is just, you know, win the team fight because you know the enemy doesn't have Earth Shatter. And then Rick can just easily uh, go haywire because he doesn't have to keep up his shield. So they're gonna keep pushing and we're already getting really close to the last point of the payload. Indeed, I mean like all they have to do is keep up that push that is Aversio. Yeah, the uh, magnificent defense, and that's where it's starting to pay off. You just have to push it maybe about 15 more meters, and then it's good to go. That may is shut down very rapidly here. And now it looks like Fexy's gonna have to get out there, but he doesn't do it in time, and he will be shut down by a soldier with an aimbot. Yeah, with uh, Rick Wall and Star Wars, that Rhino shield is one of the main reasons why the popularity of Rhino makes it so hard for hit scan gems, and I think that's just gonna be it, yeah? Because um, what you saw there was a, yeah, a nano boosted full tax just being countered by Rhino Shield. Which is, you know, makes you really sad, I imagine, as a soldier player. Seems yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know, my love for soldier has fallen off ever since far I got the buff, but. Um, yeah, fair enough. So, I mean, uh, like. Yeah. yeah? I mean, like, the thing is, all you have to do is play Quake 3 and watch how pros play, and then you got an idea of how to play Mara. Yeah, I mean, man. it's just like. You, if you don't, if you look down an angle or a hallway or a corridor or something, and you think there's a chance that an enemy could be there soon, just fire your rockets. But sick triple there by PK Milk. Quad even. Yeah, I think he got the finish. Yeah, I think he got the finish that. But that aim was really well done by Moonsault. That's what I was saying. Like McCree is so good on that second point because you have so many places to high noon from, um, and we can see Savage Beast being a little bit far forward there. 
And, you know, that positioning of Reinhardt actually can make or break a team. Because as we saw later on as well, Rick being in the right place at the right time makes it really hard for uh, the enemy team to actually leverage their ulti advantage. So we're going to go into, I'm going to let you pronounce it. Uh, Lee for the next Tower. Map. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I, it's just one of those things that kind of irks me to no end. Whenever, whenever <laughs> I see a Westerner saying Beijing, it's like,